Hey there YouTube friends, Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today as we are back in Parkitect. You've been watching a time lapse of the build today and look at all we got done. I think this is pretty good for me in one episode to get this done. Um, so yeah, we've got our entrance area and we've got our first two buildings done and we've got a little bit of an idea of the theme and the pavement and all that jazz. So let's take a little closer look at what we did today. <clears throat> so first thing on the on the agenda is this entrance area, which I'm kind of digging. Uh, it, at first I thought it might look a little too blocky, um, but I, I, I kind of like it. I wanted it to be fairly big and grand. Um, I'm thinking what we're doing is this is going to be a Cedar Fair Park um, but one that has, you know, one that they care about and they take care of and that looks good. So this is our entrance area. You'll notice our colors are pretty patriotic, red, white, and blue. Um, that's intentional. That's, that's going to be intentional for this. Uh, yeah, so we've got just this pretty, pretty standard structure here. So a couple of issues you saw in the time lapse uh, with color choices and overall layout and all that. But overall, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with where this went. Uh, we need to add some more. We need to add some more things right here. We should probably add some fencing and stuff there. In fact, eh, why don't I? Let's add some curbing. So I'm going to go in. Do, 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 do. Borders. A border. A border, 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 border. We want it to be grayish. Do I have one? I have one. I want it to be that. Cool. So we'll pop this in real quick. So, oh, I should. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to put it there. Oh, well. Hashtag what you gonna do? Oh, there we go. We're gonna plop this in. I don't think it's gonna look really nice. I dig it. And we'll mulch this and we'll put some bushes in there. So let's throw down some bushes first. Some bushes. Under plants. The plant bushes. Um, an update came out. I, I don't know if this is downloaded, if it's downloaded yet. I'll have to check. If we have a uh, RMC, or an RMC, if we have a hyper coaster, then uh, B&M Hyper, then the game has updated. The next beta is out. There we go, we got some bush. Uh, let's see, let's take a quick look at our rides. Do, 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 coaster, floorless, hydraulic, hyper coaster, there it is. So they did. Oh. And we've got our RMC. Cool, which I just rode last week. Check out that vlog if you haven't. The Six Flags Fiesta Texas vlog is pretty cool. I, I, I think it turned out pretty well. I had a great time there. Rode Wonder Woman. So very cool. All right, so we've got a hyper coaster we can play with now as well. Cool, so that's what you walk in. You'll notice we have a Texas flag here. If you don't know, that's a Texas flag because this park is going to be based in Texas. It's going to be a Cedar Fair Park. It's going to be called um, Cedar Creek, actually, which is an actual... There's a restaurant in Houston right by where I used to live, farther in, closer to the actual city. I'm in the burbs now, but the actual restaurant is called Cedar Creek, and there is an actual Cedar Creek, uh, you know, an actual creek named Cedar Creek. So that's what we're going to call it, and that's going to be our park. And I don't know how Texas-y themed it's going to be, other than it's in Texas. This star... You saw in the time lapse how jank this star was, or maybe I cut it out. I don't know. Uh, I haven't edited this video yet, obviously. So, but yeah, this star was a pain in my rump. So, that's about as good as I was able to do with the shapes I had. I feel like I'm missing something obvious and how to do this better. So, if you have any great idea about how that star could not suck, let me know. <laughs> we have our uh, restroom facility here. And again, we need some more, um, uh, some more curbing, some more borders. So you can see that we've got this nice little green space here. Oops, man, I've been doing that a lot today. Uh, got a little bit of a board walk, you know, a little little wooden texture there. Oops, 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 oops. A little wooden texture there for the the entrance. Are there? I wish there were water fountains. There's not water fountains, are there? Fountain. No, no water fountain. Unless it's over here. Would it be over here? Probably not. No. Okay, so it's not there either. We have to put down some benches and stuff as well. Some more plants. Shrubs, 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 shrub. Do a couple green shrubs. Boop, boop, 
Boop, boop, boop. Put in a shrub, a spoopy shrub. <laughs> it's goofy looking. I'm not sure I like that shrub. We have ivy. What does that look like? Oh, it actually does snap to the building, huh? Oh. That looks nice. We'll have to use that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Throw down some... I'm going to throw down some leaves, a.k.a. our mulch texture that we're going to call mulch. So, Mulch, 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 mulch. How exciting. You get to watch me lay down terrain textures. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so then we have in this little shed here, <laughs> this glorified shed, we have um, our information building. I will say it's our guest relations building, our seasons pass building, that kind of jazz, that kind of stuff. Over here we'll have um, balloons. What do I got? Does it umbrellas and info? Oh, umbre umbrellas and info. What's this then? I don't know what's in there. I can't get at it without deleting the building. I'll check. So yeah, so we're gonna have our main stuff, like our, our guest stuff here, our important stuff. Maybe we'll try and fudge a lockers building somewhere because that's obviously something else you would have right at the beginning of the park. And then we'll have a major gift shop emporium type thing, like a flags. So have to check out what Cedar Fairs, um, if if they have one that's across properties or if I don't know. So then did a little bit of work here with some trees to get some planter and some general shape of the plaza here and plop down our first ride a carousel to anchor this little entrance area i think that'll look really cute uh, i'm i'm excited to get cracking on that i do want to look one of the pieces i have here i have path covers that have diagonals i'm pretty sure they have diagonals yeah see so i can do some diagonal pathing here it would require if i choose to do it if i choose to do it it would require me to absolutely blanket um everything in a, in a in a cover and obviously i wouldn't have them be this color because that's freaking hideous but you can see <laughs> you can get diagonal paths now granted that one's kind of thick there i don't like that so we'd have to find a way to make that not as um gross <laughs> to make it not as gross but it's going to be because that is sticking out so far so that snaps me right back to my roller coaster tycoon three days like we can easily make this plaza let me delete these do 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 uh i individual selection do 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 i only want the scenery to be gone it's going to delete everything isn't it did it delete everything no it didn't delete anything Ugh. Whatever, I'll just do this. I'll right click it. That's fine too. Um, but if we actually made it, you know, the color of a path, and I can show you an idea that I'm having. So we'll go this color here. And we just. I wish. I, I, yeah, I, I love that you can freeform place it, but I think I'd rather have the freeform tool or have the freeform uh, placement ability um, be what you hold down Alt for. I'd rather. It snapped to the grid by default, and then you change it if you want it changed. All right, so let me show you here my wacky idea. I could do a triangle half. That'll work, too. <laughs> do, do, do. I think we'll need to get fours here. There we go. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. So we can, and I can do that as well and we can go like that i should probably use the half piece actually you know that i'm now i'm tinking or a full triangle piece let's make the full triangle piece the correct color did i accidentally plop one down somewhere i don't see it all right that's fine hmm. Hmm. so you can see that this is kind of bulgy here that's not really all that great but it gives you a little more you know decoration here the problem is coming up with uh other things that will fit this because there's not many um ooh, there's not many diagonal pieces at least in the mods i have i have shy guys set um that's on the workshop and it's excellent i have this paving set i have a catwalk set but that's um that's about it for me i don't i don't have that much so well, we'll see what happens i don't know i can't I'm not really sure. So, but I really like what happened here with the center area. I think this is really nice. It's simple. 
um, but I think it does its job a little bit more of the different textured paving pavement just to kind of break things up <clears throat> just you know just a little bit make it look a little better organized I guess we'll do it like that and like that there we go hey hey holy mackerel no doubt about it and we'll decorate this real nice put the queue back here the exit back here and we'll branch off from there we've got oodles and noodles and poodles of room so we are going to be slowly traversing downhill in the first half of the park where we will actually have cedar creek running through and then it'll go back maybe it'll go back uphill i don't know we're gonna see so that's my plan that's kind of what I got. We also have to, you can see the backstage area, the main backstage area looks like it's going to be here. So we'll probably put deliveries over here and we'll have a, a road running to it along the side here or something. I don't know exactly how we'll do it, but we'll figure it out. So so I think that's going to do it for the real-time portion today of our, of our Park Architect episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you now have a better sense of where things are going in the park. Um, and I'm always open to your critiques and suggestions. For example, you'll notice the bollards did get placed. That's the best I could do since we're dealing with some path covers here. Uh, you'll notice I actually had to go ahead and put in curbing fencing to break up the grid so that I could actually place them on the edge of the tile. That's the way those work, I guess. Um, also suggested was an easier way to bring things up to the correct height is to hold control. Thank you. I can't believe I didn't know that, but it saved me so much time in this, this episode. Uh, I really appreciate it. So thanks for your feedback and your tips, guys. It, it's, been, it's been really helpful. So keep that coming as usual. And as usual, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And I will see you all for the next episode of Architect. Talk to you real soon, guys. Bye-bye.